Welcome. I'm excited to bring to you an in-depth look at Einstein discovery in Tableau. But first, what is Einstein discovery? Einstein discovery automatically examines millions of data points to uncover unbiased insights, generate predictions, and provide recommendations for the user. We are going to work through the steps to add Einstein discovery predictions into your own Tableau dashboards, bringing trusted predictions and recommendations from Einstein discovery to every Tableau user across your org. We will be using a modified Superstore workbook. You can follow along with Einstein discovery in your own Salesforce org and the resources attached below the video. Let's set the stage. Our global chain Superstore has a Northern European region that has this dashboard they're regularly using to analyze historical shipments. As part of a company-wide data culture initiative, the data and analytics team is very interested in adding predictive capabilities to be more proactive about potential shipment delays. So how exactly are they going to add a powerful new capability into their dashboards? As you can see, this current dashboard is based on historical shipments, and that's what we're going to use to base a model on, but we do want to predict the likelihood of new shipments to be delivered on time, which will require a new data set and new dashboard. Having assigned creation of that new dashboard over to the data visualization team, we can now focus on building a predictive model. First things first, we do need data to build the model on. And for this example, we'll use a CSV export of historical shipments, similar to what you saw in the dashboard. In just a few short steps, we can upload the data to Tableau CRM Analytics Studio so that it's ready to use. Make sure when you're doing this on your own, you're only including the relevant data for the prediction. In this case, history of shipped orders. Once your CSV upload completes, we're going to need to create a story. Here, we're going to go ahead and set up as maximize delivered on time for on time, which will predict the likelihood of being on time so that once we connect all the pieces together, a high percentage is exactly what we're looking for to know that our customers will be happy. Next, select insights and predictions as your model type. We're going to use automated to get started, but you can always go back and adjust manually later if needed. Click create story and go get a cup of coffee. This might take a few minutes to complete depending on your underlying data. We're going to check the accuracy score and then go ahead and deploy our model. Remember, you can't connect to Tableau until you deploy your model. So don't forget this step. Start by giving it a name and you're going to need this when you pull it up in Tableau. Select deploy without connecting to an object because we're going to be connecting outside of Salesforce. Choose no segmentation for this example. Select transporter service level and transport supplier as our actionable variables. And then review and deploy. So let's open up the dashboard the visualization team created for us. Yes, again, cooking show magic. We can see that there is ample space that they have set aside so that we can place our predictions. This will be used to house the Einstein discovery in Tableau extension. Before we can put that extension in, we need to do one last piece of prep. We need to have a sheet that has each field that's being used in the model on detail like this. Since this sheet is being used only to drive the extension, we're going to hide it on our dashboard, but we're going to still have filter actions that affect it so that it updates the extension properly. Drag that extension object out onto your dashboard. And as you can see, not only are we adding Einstein capabilities into Tableau, but we have adjusted how the extension gallery looks. You now see it in Tableau desktop. This is going to make it even easier to extend your dashboards. Let's go ahead and choose the Einstein option and Tableau is going to open a browser to authenticate. Go ahead and click allow. Now that we're going to configure our Einstein discovery extension, we need to select the prediction model that we just created. We're going to go ahead and keep this as worksheet. And yes, you can tie it into parameters and not have to do a sheet. We're going to select that sheet we made to help drive this prediction screen and then hit proceed. 
As long as all your fields are named the same as they were in your data load into the Analytics Studio, and they're all the same type, you're not gonna have to do much here other than review and hit next. We're gonna give our prediction a name, and this is gonna show up on the extension, so make it clear for your audience. I like to put percent in the units since that is the desired output of my predictive model. And below, we're gonna go ahead and increase the number of items that are going to show in the extension because I've got plenty of room and the more information I can provide my end users, the better. We're also going to hide warnings for this instance. Hit done and there you have it. We already have some actions set up on this dashboard and you can see that as we interact with our data, our predictions are updated in real time using that prediction model to rescore our outcome. Depending on the components being shipped, location, weather, business type, the prediction of likely to be delivered on time will be updated. We can see that these top predictors are leading causes and suggestions for improvements are also getting updated to provide valuable insights to our end user. So now that we have an interactive predictive dashboard ready to share out, we can go ahead and publish this to Tableau Online or Tableau Server so that the business can see and take action on their data. This extension option is great. It has everything you need in one place and it's very easy to set up. For those looking for an option that is a bit more visual and flexible, we have an option to add your prediction as a Tableau table calculation. In just a few short steps, we can create the calculation and use it for a visual, interactive, real-time predictive output. To get started, let's jump back over to Salesforce and take a look at the model manager. As reviewing that model we created, we're gonna go and look at the settings, and there's a drop-down menu off to the right that has a quick create Tableau table calculation. Simple as copy it to the clipboard and jump right back over to your workbook. We're gonna create a new sheet and a new calculated field. Let's go ahead and paste that calculation in. And now we have a new calculation that we can use just as we would any other measure on our visuals. We can add it to our dashboard for a visual interactive prediction. Let's make a quick viz and see it in action. We're gonna put that calculation over on columns, drag weather over to rows, and let's go ahead and add a color gradient. You have formatting options galore, add it to your dashboard and share using Tableau server. This table calculation on Tableau online, as well as even more functionality, including bulk scoring in Tableau prep are all features that'll be coming out very soon. Thank you for being here today and check out the related links for more information on Tableau 2021.1 release and Einstein discovery in Tableau.